Leviticus 11, last three verses, all right? Check this out, Jay. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 24. This is what God commands you, my brother. For I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt. God brought you, Jay, out of the land of Egypt. Anybody ever taught you that you're an Israelite? Mm -hmm. All right, you believe that? Yeah. So you believe the people of this book are your ancestors, right? This is what God requires of our ancestors and of us. Read. To so be your God, to be his, to, for him to be our God, read. Ye shall therefore be holy. Jay, you got to be holy. God commanded you to be holy. That means you got to be different than all these other nations out here. The way that you conduct yourself got to be different. They commit adultery. They have incest. They eat unclean foods. But God commanded you to have a different standard, Jay. Read. Right. For I am holy. Uh -huh. This is the law of the beast uh -huh. and of the fowl Read. and of every living creature that moveth in the waters Read. and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth Read. to make a difference. Jay, God made a difference, but he didn't make a difference in, in Leviticus 11 because we just read in Leviticus and Genesis chapter 1, chapter 6 and chapter 7, it was already a difference between the clean and unclean. It was already understood before Moses ever came on the scene, it was unclean animals and clean animals. When, they, when Noah took them on the ark. So when the Christian pastor tell us that the laws are done away with, we don't got to keep the laws of Moses anymore. What about the laws that were here before Moses? The clean and the unclean animals were here before Moses. Genesis is before Moses. Moses came in Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, my brother. The Christian church has been lying to our people, keeping our people in the midst of sin. But I wouldn't say they was, was lying. They just talked they just talk what they knew. Just now people are more educated now. That's what I think. Okay, but I think you know what I'm saying? But they don't think they was lying. They just taught what they the person before them taught. Before them taught. You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. they really didn't have all the education that the people uh -huh. have now to be able to break down the word. Right. Really what so it means, so, you know so what now we now we can break down the word, but guess what? Our brothers are still in the Christian church. Yeah. A lot of we talk to a lot of these pastors and we say you understand you in Israel like yeah Yeah, I understand that yeah, I hear what y'all saying about the law, but they just ain't feeling it You know why because it's gonna mess up the pockets. It's gonna mess up the pockets. These churches are running off of what? Yeah. How they get their money? Um, so what, I mean ties man ties, but when you go into the scriptures my brother Jay ties was never money it was never money. It was agricultural items that were given to the Levitical priests. That's right. And I guarantee you, nobody in there is a Levitical priest. And Christ is the high priest now. He said tithes and offering, he, they aren't required anymore. So the one law that's not, that is done away with is still being kept. And all the laws that are still supposed to be kept are now done away with by the Christian church. The Bible said that we're not supposed to touch, taste, or deal with any unclean thing. Give me that and hold, hold that. No, finish that to make a difference, right? Yes, sir. Verse 47. Uh -huh. To make a difference uh -huh. between the unclean and the clean. To make a difference between the unclean and the clean. Right, Jay? Read. And between the beast that may be eaten uh -huh. and the beast that may not be eaten. And to make a difference between what you're allowed to eat and what you're not allowed to eat. Now, Jay, I'm going to take you to the New Testament because the Christian pastors always want to say, yeah, well, we're in the New Testament now. That's the Old Testament. We're in the New Testament. What does the New Testament say about uncleanness? Give me 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. In verse 17, Christ himself kept all the, all the commandments. Paul kept all the commandments. Right. Timothy kept all the commandments. Right. John the Revelator kept all the commandments. All the disciples of Christ kept all the commandments. But you fast forward to 2021, and the brothers that claim to be Christians, they shave in their face, unlike the scriptures say. They're eating unclean foods, unlike the scriptures say. They're not observing the Sabbath, and they're going to church on Sunday, which came from this guy right here, because they worship the sun on Sunday. All right, none of these customs anybody in the Bible ever participated in. Birthdays, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, none of that is in the Bible. None of that is in the Bible. They lied to our people. The lost books of the Bible, y'all, do you have those? We do, we do. But there's, there's some books that were canon that were initially translated by King James that our slave masters took out. The same ones that told us that we could eat pork and lied about that and told us to lie to our people and that, became, that lie became normal. 
those same people took necessary books of the Bible out so that we wouldn't understand our heritage. Right. Let me show you what the New Testament says about uncleanness. Read. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17. Uh -huh. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. The Bible says come out from unbelievers, people that don't keep the commandments, and be separate from them. Read. Say of the Lord, uh -huh. and touch not the unclean thing. Do what? And touch not the unclean thing. The Bible says touch not the unclean thing, but my brother Jay, come on. You I and the... ask, ask a question. Go ahead, ask a question. If, um, if the commandments, yeah. you're talking about the Ten Commandments. All the commandments. Okay, all the commandments. Right. But they, as us being, uh, like you were saying, being Israelites or yes. Gentiles, you wasn't. Those those commandments weren't privileged to you anyway. They was for the Jews. Jay. So why are you keeping something that was given to the Jews Jay. that weren't even for you? Who are the Jews, Jay? Huh? Who are the Jews? No, I'm I'm not I'm asking a question. Okay, I right. want you to answer like yes, tell me like the, the commandments were really you. they really wasn't you never you they weren't for you anyway. Right. They were for, you know, supposed to be God's chosen people. Gotcha. You're supposed to be I mean I understand what you're saying, what you said, well you're Israelite, well, okay, well, or you you consider a Gentile. So if you consider a Gentile those commandments wouldn't they wouldn't apply to they you. wouldn't apply to you right so if you're asking people to keep that it's kind of you know Counter, what I'm counterproductive yeah i understand what you said because i was taught the same thing i was raised to believe that i was a gentile okay all right okay. but jay they lied to us you're not I'm a gentile I'm you're I'm not a gentile you an israelite is the opposite of a gentile a gentile is anybody that's not an israelite anybody got a zonovan did anybody bring one with them uh, my, all right now when you read in the uh, old testament you read the word heathen you read the word uh, stranger, you read the word Gentile. Typically, when you read in the Bible dictionary, typically that's talking about a non-Israelite people. All right? Give, give me the one that uh, in Ezekiel that will become as the heathen. Uh-huh. All right? Gotcha. All right? But what happened, are you familiar with the history of the Israelites? No, not, 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 not fully. All right, I'm going to give you a 30-second rundown, all right? The Israelites are those who were in Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt. Remember, he parted the Red Sea. They went in through to the wilderness. Remember, the serpents bit them. They got in a bunch of trouble. They ate manna. They ate quail, right? And God okay. brought them into the promised land. I got you. That was the land of Canaan. Remember, yes. he sent Joshua out. He came back with a good report. They had the big old grapes that took two men to carry a grapevine like this. You. All right? They went into their homeland. All right? A period of time goes by. A ruler rises up amongst the Israelites. Okay. His name was King David. Gotcha. King David. King David ruled over the entire nation of Israel as a whole. Hey, boss man. King David had a son. Hey, boss man. What's up, brother? I'm trying to get a cold soda. All right. We're we teaching the Bible right now. You, if you listen, if you, I, I need you to listen, all right? No, all right, I, just hold no, your peace, all right? Oh, uh, well, I'm just trying to go home. All right. We're well, going home, all right? We're we teaching the Bible right now, all right? All right. Hold your peace. We're teaching the scriptures, all right? I'm trying to get a cold soda. All right. You heard what I said, though, right? Yeah. All right, humble down, hold your peace, all right? Okay. All right, so look, my brother, King David had a son named King Solomon, mm -hmm. all right? Give me, uh, give me, give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, uh, 7, chapter 7, about the interracial marriage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right? Bring this up. God told us, along, even before Moses, even before Moses, you probably got that smell good yeah, on us. Good. You probably got that smell yeah. good on. <laughs> yeah, yeah he'll, he'll dip in a minute. Mm -hmm. He'll dip in a minute. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Uh -huh. I can start at verse 1 if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Verse 1. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whither thou goest to possess it. That was the land of Canaan that became known as Jerusalem. Read. And hath cast out many nations before thee. Many Hermetic or African nations. All right. Keep reading. The Hittites. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll spare you some of those names just to speed it up for you. Give me verse 2. Verse 2. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them uh -huh. and utterly destroy them. Read. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, read. nor show mercy unto them. That's how we were supposed to deal with the other nations, read. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. You see that? The scripture says we're not supposed to make marriages with the other nations either. This Bible is talking about us, our forefathers, because we are the Israelites. That's right. That's right. We are the Israelites that these laws were given to. Keep reading. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, uh -huh. nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Read. For they will. So the Bible says the reason interracial marriage is not lawful is because this is what's going to happen to your children. Read. 
for they will turn away thy son from following me. You see that, Jay? The reason that I can't marry a white woman is because if I have children with a white woman, her job as the mother is to guide the house. What customs is she going to guide the house under? From only what she's known. From what she's known. And guess what she's known and what she's taught? She's taught that God looks like her people. That Christmas is the lawful custom. That Thanksgiving is a celebration of her people. That July 4th is the independence of her people. <laughs> so now the laws of God are not going to be taught in my house. Because you know what? I'm going to be at the shipyard with you. Right? We're going to be building up the, you know what I mean? We're going to be building up CVN 70, this, that, 80, 90, 100, right? And she's going to be at the house teaching the kids they can eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, go to church on Sunday, celebrate Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all forms of ungodly customs. All right? But King Solomon didn't listen to that. King Solomon married many strange wives. And you know what happened to the kingdom of Israel? It got split. It got split. Now, I'm going to fast forward to you. Give me Ezekiel. This is what happened after the kingdom of, of, uh, of Israel, the, the nation of Israel got split. Read. The book of Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 32. Uh -huh. And that which cometh into your mind. The things that were supposed to be in our mind, Jay, the law, statutes, and commandments, read, shall not be at all. They were no longer in our mind anymore. We cast God's laws out of our mind. We said, I ain't keeping the Sabbath day. I want that white woman. I want that... Uh, Arab woman. I want that Chinese woman. I want that Japanese woman. Keep reading. That ye say, we will be as the heathen. As the what? As the heathen. So we, the Bible says we would be as the heathen. We would be as the heathen. So you know what happened? You fast forward to the time of the Greeks, but you can't read about the history of the Greeks because in the, the Old Testament ends with Malachi, right? And then, the, you know what time frame Malachi was living in? I think he was living, what, what time was that? He was living in the time of the Persians. But then you read into Matthew, and Matthew was during the time of who? I'm just giving you this history, because I want to make sure that you're educating the kids, you know what I mean? This is all about rebuilding the community. There's a 400 year gap from Malachi to Matthew. So what happened during that period of time? Not sure. A whole lot, the time of the Greeks. This is when we became Gentiles, my brother. This is when we became Gentiles. Now, I'm going to show you the books. Remember you asked about the books that were taken out? The books that King James had translated that were canon, that the scholars took and translated from Greek, Hebrew, Latin, and translated them into English. These books were a part of, look at that, authorized King James Version. When you go to Barnes & Noble right now to buy a King James Bible, these books are missing from it. You get 14 books that are a part of the original Bible. Let me show you. Look at that. First Ezra, second Ezra. You know who wrote that book? The same brother that wrote Ezra and Nehemiah in the Old Testament. You got Judah, the rest of Esther. There were more books from Esther that got taken out. Wisdom of Solomon. The same brother that wrote Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon. He had other books. They took these books out. Sirach, Baruch. He was the scribe of Jeremiah. You read Jeremiah in the Old Testament, and you read about Baruch. This is like Jeremiah chapter 36. Yeah, see if you can find that Jeremiah chapter uh, chapter 36. Yeah, bring that up. And then look, I'm gonna show you one other thing. In the time of the Maccabees, well, let me, let me give you some more. History. Susanna, that was during the time of uh, Daniel. Song of a song of the three holy children. You know who the three holy children are? Azariah, Hananiah, and Mishael that were with Daniel in Babylon. Right. right. Then you got Bell and the Dragon also during the time of Daniel. The prayer of Manasseh. And you got first and second Maccabees, which is the time of the Greeks. That, that that was the precursor to the time of the Romans that we read about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Alright? The Greeks ruled before the Romans ruled, and all that history is in the Bible, but the slave master took it out. The same one that told you that it was only two animals to go on the ark. The same one that told you that it's all right for you to eat the hog. The same one that told you that it's all right to go to church on Sunday and celebrate July 4th. He took your history out so you wouldn't understand your true heritage. Right. Let me show you who Baruch is. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, let me show you who Baruch is. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 32. Uh -huh. Then took Jeremiah another row and gave it to Baruch. Gave it to who? To Baruch Three. the scribe. The scribe. Jeremiah was Baruch's scribe. Jeremiah was Baruch's scribe. 
Hey, but look, I, I wanted to answer one last question for you, bro. Jay. Jay, let me just give you one more scripture, because you was asking who the, who, how you know who the real Jews are and all that, right? So, I'm going to just make it real abbreviated. So, the scripture says that the Israelites will go into captivity to other nations, and we will become as the heathen. So we weren't allowed to be called Israelites under the time of the Greeks and the Maccabees. If you had more time, I can explain it to you. But since we became known as Gentiles, some of those names, when we were cast into captivity, we became known as the Romans. Mm -hmm. Remember, what, what was Paul's nationality? He was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, but he was a Roman citizen. All right, so you had Israelites living in Thessalonica, Colossia. Uh, give, give, me, uh, give me Acts chapter 17 and 1. Acts chapter 7, these were Jews in this time. But you fast forward to 1945, there's something called the Belfort Declaration. You want to write that down? The Belfort Declaration. That's when the so-called uh, so white man moved into our land and there became known this Jewish race. Right. I know you heard of the Jewish race before. But let me show you who these, these people were living in these places um, during the time of the, of the apostles. Read that. Acts chapter 17 verse 1 because you heard of the book of Thessalonians right in the New Testament but I need you to understand that the Thessalonians that Paul was teaching right. were not white people they weren't people of other nations they were so called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans that had lost their nationality that's right because under the time of the Greeks they were not allowed to be called Israelites right they, they were colonized. That's exactly right. They were Hellenized. 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 Read this. Acts 17 verse 1. Read. Now when they had passed through through Ampith Ampithalus uh -huh. and Apollonia, Read. they came to Thessalonica. They came to Thessalonica. This is who the book of Thessalonians was written about. Who was there? Where was a synagogue of the Jews. A synagogue of who? Of the Jews. A synagogue of the Jews. Remember, Jew is short for Judah. Jew is short for Judah. And if you look at that sign over there, I don't know if you got a picture of it. Right, the 12 tribes of Israel, the head tribe is the tribe of Judah. Give me that in Je Jeremiah 17. I got two last scriptures for you. I know you got to go. I know you got, but I need you to understand this because you a teacher of God's word. Jay, you a teacher of God's word. I need to make sure that you got the truth because you can't get it in there, Jay. If anything, you got to be the one to bring it in there. Right? But you're going to have to build with us so that we can give you the true understanding so you can convert our brothers and sisters in there from their ways of sin. Jeremiah 17, 14. Yeah, there you go. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Read. Judah Mordor. You see that, Jay? Remember, Jew, if I'm a Jew, that just it's just short. You know, we speak slang. He bite it. What, what up, my G? You know what I mean? What up, what up homie? You know, uh, Jew is short for Judah. Read it again. Judah mourneth, and the gates still of language. The Bible says that the leaders amongst the tribe of Judah, which is the head tribe of the nation of Israel, language means lack. They lack understanding. They lack leadership. They lack strength. They're weak now. Read. They are black. They what? They are black. Jay Color always been in the Bible. The first man was formed from the dust of the ground, Jay. The scripture says the tribe of Judah, the Jews are what? They are black. They are black. Go back to Acts chapter 17. So when the people in Thessalonica, the synagogue of the Jews, Jay, what they look like? Say that one more time. The Jews that were in Thessalonica, what did they look like? The ones that you're talking about? They, yeah. They were like mixed. They was like all like multiracial. No, 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 they no. Was no like no. you said, Hispanic. You should said Hispanic, blacks, all the, the, that was in Thessalonica. They were only these people on this sign, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what we became known as now. But back then, we weren't Hispanics then. We were all black. We hadn't intermingled with the so-called white man to become a Hispanic then. Right. Th those people came over to this side. Well, some of those people were over on this side, and they became known as Hispanics because the conquistadors came over, raped the women, taught them the Spanish language, taught them the Catholicism religion, and that's how they become no known as Hispanics. Right. All right, but give me uh, give me uh, Revelation two. All right, just to finish answering your question, you because because the understanding that you had that we once had is that we're Gentiles. So my brother was asking. That's my brother right there. He asked, well, um, why are you teaching the laws to the Gentiles when the laws were never given to the Gentiles, right? But now, Jay, you're understanding that we were never the Gentiles. 
We are the Israelites who the laws were given to. That's right. right. But you lost your heritage. You discontinued from your heritage, and somebody else stole your heritage. Right? That's right. They gave you the lack thereof heritage that they had, the, the piss poor garbage heritage that they have that really just celebrates our own destruction. Right. Because when you realize that uh, the Native Americans are your own brothers, they're your own cousins, they're part of the same bloodline that we came from, Thanksgiving becomes a little bit more upsetting to you those my brothers and thanksgiving is celebrating their destruction all right give me revelation 2 and 9 read that the book of revelation chapter 2 verse 9 now this is what really answers your question jay read i know thy works and tribulation the bible this is christ speaking in revelation 2 and 9 he's speaking in red letters he's speaking to his own brothers he's speaking to you jay he says he knows your works and your tribulation. You know what your tribulation is, Jake? What you looking for? We got brought here on slave ships. We got brought here on slave ships, Jake. This is your tribulation right here. You know what happened yesterday, Jake? You heard the news? You heard about what happened in New York? Mass shooting. White boy came with the big guns. Murdered 10, 10 like 8 to 10 black people all in the grocery store. In the grocery, grocery store. Stores. He knows your work and your tribulations. That's not happening to them. The knee on the neck ain't happening to them. The mass incarceration rates ain't happening to them. Is it one or two of them sprinkled in everywhere? Absolutely. But who suffers the things that we suffer as a people? Nobody. Nobody. The scripture says, I know thy works and thy tribulation, read. And poverty. Uh, and poverty. Who's living in downtown Newport News, Jay? Thank you, sir. We are. Everybody. We are. We are. Keep reading. But thou art rich. You know why you rich, Jay? Because the kingdom of heaven is promised to you, Jay, if you repent. That's right. But your repentance means that you got to start growing the hair on your head. You got to stop shaving. Uh, I'm sorry, you got to stop eating a hog. You got to get these people in this church to start meeting up on Saturday instead of Sunday. That's right. Because the Bible says so. You got to stop celebrating uh, Christmas. Christmas and birthdays and a new year in January when everything is dead. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. The Most High God has given you days he wants you to celebrate. That's right. And all those days honor him and what he did for our people. But our people don't celebrate the days he wants us to honor him in. Right. And you know who we celebrate? Our own selves. Dang. I got you. But let me finish this verse. It's one more, one more sentence on this verse. Read that. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. There are those on this earth that say they are Jews and are not. And are not. So, Jay, the people that claim to be Jews right here on this earth, right now, the Bible says they are not the Jews. That's why they're called Jew what? It's not just Jew, it's Jew what? What you What you said before? Jewish? Jewish! Yeah. Jewish, Jay! If I tell you, what time is it? Somebody give me the time. What? About one? Uh, one. It's about one? If I tell you, hey, uh, because you're still here at one o'clock. If you're supposed to meet somebody at the store, you say, yeah, I'll be there about one, one-ish. You going to be there right there, one on the dot? More than likely. But if I say one-ish, that means that it's not quite one. It's a little bit of ambiguity there. It's uh, maybe a little bit like... The, the suffix ish means pertaining to or similar to. Black ish, is it black or is it kind of looks a little black? Right, so what, I'm, what I want you to understand is that when they call themselves Jewish, they telling on themselves. They telling you that they lying because you're a Jew and they're Jewish. Meaning they're acting like their, their customs pertain to yours. That's what that means, Jay. They're Jewish, but you're a real Jew. That's you're right. an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, and you gotta repent from your sins. That's right. right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These 
These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.